We urge you to read this disclaimer before viewing the video or practicing the techniques depicted therein. Named after the Olive Ridley Turtle, one of the ocean's authentic tiny treasures, Ollie's Club and Ollie's Corner at participating ITC hotels and welcome hotels is a tribute to authentic, nurturing and holistic nourishing of the young beacons in our lives. Designed to make their stay with us interactive and responsible experiences, curated activities and utmost safety, the Ali Summer Camp is an extension of our service to our young guests at home. Stay tuned for upcoming sessions that unwrap a bundle of activities for the kids to practice and parents to gainfully engage in. Namaste kids, welcome to the Oli's Club by ITC Hotels and all ITC Welcome Hotels. I'm Ida and today I'm going to take you through the wonderful and most creative world of colors. In today's session, I'm going to teach you block printing. Let's get started and let me introduce you to the things what I need for today's session is the fabric colors. Here with the fabric color, I would be using vegetable liquid colors which are more eco-friendly and economical. So basic colors remain the same, red, green, blue, yellow. Fabric shades, we need binder, that medium. And for this vegetable color, I need binder. We have two different binders. One is a white binder which generally you use for normal light color clothes. And there is a khadi binder which you will be using if you are using printing on a dark fabric. Most important thing you need to get the better results, you need to use color fixer which makes your color brighter and permanent. Then you need blocks of course. Since I said block printing, these are easily available in the market, the blocks. Then you need screens and you need squeezers. Screen printing, these are the screens which are available, it's a wooden frames which are available in the market. You need to trace the design and the other part where the design is not there, you will be needing enamel. This is the enamel or the uh, base coat for your screen where you are using a mesh cloth. You are fixing mesh, mesh cloth on the screen and then using the coat on the outer side of the design. So only your design is visible and rest is Covered piece of small little foam which you need to spread the color when you are doing the block printing. So we'll start with the block printing. So first we will start with mixing with the color. Here I'm using white binder. Since I'll be using white, I choose to take a red color. Seven drops of color. That's more than enough to mix it. Now you see how. It changes the color. Make sure that you use a plastic or a wooden spoon to mix. It's coming a nice red. I want it maroon. I'm going to mix two drops of black color here. Now when I mix it properly, it will give me a nice maroon shade. You need to mix the fixer. For two spoons, you will mix seven drops of fixer. Seven drops of fixer. Leave it for at least two three minutes to blend the color properly so here what i'm using is a fabric color which i'm going to spread on this piece of foam like this basically you are preparing your base form so now this is ready you need to take your napkin you're placing it on the fabric this is where you need to make your design take your block Put it nicely on the foam where you have spread the color, right? Don't make sure that the color is not uh, gone into the gaps. So now, wherever you have to put the motif, block over there. Press it nicely like this. Remove it. It's beautiful, right? Such a beautiful design is here. The second way where you can use a block is that you take a block and brush 
reduce the color on the block itself you need to be very very careful it should be only on the design be prepared for the fun activity you will take another napkin this is where you need to make a design one minute and done that's another design you have done with the block and now we uh, move on to screen printing now this is the screen i'm going to have chosen for my tray cover this is the design wherever you want to have keep the screen over there i'm going to use a little green color in that because suddenly i remember we are only is at only at on green so i thought of using green color for my only here the squeezer i just have to put a screen roll over through the colors like this up down squeeze the color you are done gently lift your screen oh beautiful design is here i'll just move it this side same stroke same color Look at this. Here I would use another color. If I want to use another color, you see this is what I have used. Another color in the same thing. Well, with this we come to an end of our today's session. I hope you enjoyed learning the basic skills of printing with me. how to make a terrarium at home what all you need is a glass vessel gravels or small stones charcoal cocopit some plants a big jar for terrarium water some decorative pebbles and a fine wire net add 2 inches of gravel in a jar Cover the gravel with a fine wire net. Put the charcoal. Put the cocoa pit and press. Place three different types of plants, preferably of different shades. form the soil with a blunt tool place a plant in the jar Decorate the top with colorful pebbles. Spray a little water over it. Keep the jar open for 2 hours. Cover the jar with the lid and your terrarium is ready.